Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now let's talk about PCI Express 1 or Buy 1 or 1X, however you want to pronounce it. This little slot here that will likely go unoccupied unless you have, say, a sound or network card installed. Most motherboards within the last decade or so will have this slot, but not all of them will have PCIe 16, which is the standard for latest graphics cards. So what do you do? Do you live with the poor integrated graphics of older boards, or try and find an AGP alternative, or is it worth going with a PCIe 1 graphics card? If you take a look at this GT710 by Zotac, you'll notice everything looks the same except the connector. It's a low profile card that features 192 CUDA cores, 1GB of DDR3 VRAM and uses only 19 watts of power. The 710 isn't the only option out there, specifically in terms of everyday desktop cards, there's also a GT610 and an HD5450 to name a couple, but the 710 is the most powerful and given that some modern integrated graphics could outperform it, raw gaming power isn't the intention of cards like this. But I think cards like this are fantastic because they potentially give old systems a new lease of life or allow you to add support for a second display all for under $50 or pounds and whilst using little power. The low profile nature of not just the 710 but other X1 cards also ensures maximum compatibility. Now just for fun we'll throw a couple of benchmarks up here as although it isn't designed for gamers it can still handle some titles with ease and lower resolutions. If you've got an older system that may need a little extra kick or you've upgraded to Windows 10 and found that your integrated graphics are a little bit sluggish, something like this may be exactly what you need if you don't have a PCIe 16 slot. If you do have a 16 slot then there would be no point in a GPU like this one. Having said that I think these fill a gap in the market pretty well and it would be nice to see some slightly more powerful graphics card designed for this slot as well that would go nicely with older PCs. So guys I hope you've enjoyed this video. I find the idea of these graphics cards quite interesting and I hope you guys do as well. So as always like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you didn't. I'll leave a link to my second channel as well as my social media down below so you can follow me over there if you like of course. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and as always I hope to see you all in the next video.